Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about video.js. Now what exactly is that? Uh, you'll get a lot of information here at blog.video.js.com Video.js is an open source JavaScript library for working with web videos. It has HTML forward slash CSS video player controls with a JavaScript API that work the same with HTML5, Flash and other playback technologies. In simple words, it's a library of JavaScript and CSS and enhances the flavor of the basic plain chain vanilla HTML5 video player. And you can learn more at videojs.com. Uh, in fact, let's straight away start off with the browser preview. Here, Dr. John McDougall explains his star solution, explains why when we eat bulkier volumetric foods like potatoes, corn, rice, uh, we not only end up feeling satisfied, we also end up losing weight. Yes, losing weight. Let's watch the video and let's learn something even other than HTML, CSS, JS, jQuery, etc. Now guys, this video does not use the plain Jane or vanilla HTML5 video player. If you notice that I can, as I hover over different parts of the seek bar, get to know the positions. See, in the, the white and the black rectangular structures. Okay, notice I can actually alter the speed 1x, 1.5x or 2 times faster 2x. I can go full screen. I can come off the full screen. I can, if I hover over the uh, speaker, I can expand the volume bar. I can alter the volume. I can toggle the volume like so. Especially this function, guys, increasing the speed to 1.5 folds or 2 folds is not a part of the basic HTML5 video player. So how we enhance the HTML5 video player is through video.js. Let's again learn something other than HTML and CSS. So what have we got here, John? Looks to me like the diet point of this is you can't get your spoon into these dishes here. I've got a demonstration for you, Dan, that you're never going to forget. This is a demonstration that I give at St. Lena Hospital and Health Center to the people I take care of. It's a demonstration that's going to prove beyond a doubt the problem is not that we eat too much. I mean, I hear that all the time, that the reason people are fat is because they eat too much. What I want to show you, and through your powers of observation, you will conclude it's what we eat, not how much we eat. Now, what I have here, Dan, is... Yes, it is what we eat and not how much we eat. In fact, we should be eating ad libitum, which means uh, to one's desire, as much as we want, as long as we are eating right. And that way, once we are eating right, we don't need to count calories, we, we don't need to stand on the weighing scale, you don't need to weigh your food, you just need to know that you are eating right. And you eat right when you use volumetric foods, bulkier foods which are uh, caloric dilute like potatoes and uh, starches like corn, uh, whole grains. Okay, etc. It's a whole food plant based diet. In simple words, moderating on oil. In fact, if you can go zero oil, it's best. And if you can really cut down on salt and sugar, it's called the SOS vegan diet. Salt, oil, sugar less. Vegan diet. Okay. I have stomachs, and these are about the size oh, of really? your stomach. Yeah, these are glass stomachs. You gotta use your imagination a little bit. All okay. right. Now, what I'm going to allow you to do is to eat 500 calories per meal. Okay, let's get back to the HTML and CSS. Now, in Sublime Text 3, which is my video editor, what you see in front of you is the HTML document. This is the CSS document. This is the local site folder. I have uh, an MP4 video file, a corresponding same uh, webm 
yeah webm file then skinning.css external style sheet a jpeg image start solution dot jpeg for the poster of the video the poster appears till the video is actually played and this is the actual uh, HTML document so these are the different assets that we have so what we do is we initially build uh, the very basic play engine video player so opening closing video tags with controls that gives you the play pause seek bar etc preload set to auto which means that we want the author of the browser actually wants to download the video as soon as the page loads setting the width and height to whatever poster set to start solution this picture appears till the video is actually played guys I'm gonna take this video into the next part the second part as well we'll cover uh, that up in detail then here we just look at the code we just talk about it superficially we have a bird's eye view we discuss the code a little bit I'll, show, I'll alter the code a little bit and show you how it actually affects the output and not much uh, you'll have to join me in the second and the last part to understand it in depth okay so now we have to have uh, two sources one for the mp4 um, video one for the webm video it's the same video but in different formats mp4 and webm okay uh, here we have an error message which is completely optional it uh, displays to the user here the author actually displays to the user author basically the person who actually creates the code is the author displays to the user user is you a message that maybe your javascript is not enabled for the, the web page or maybe you need to grow grade your web page to support the html5 video etc and you you can completely do away with it most modern contemporary browsers won't have a problem um, playing html5 videos okay and the video tag closes out here so you first create uh, the plain Jane um, vanilla basic skeleton uh, the video tag with sources two different sources mp4 and webm so if mp4 doesn't play webm will failing which the mp4 will failing which obviously the error message will appear out here okay which uh, the chances of that happening is really less okay the controls attributes makes sure that you get the play pause button seek bar mute button etc preload setting it to auto uh, will ensure that the video starts to download with the page load uh, width and height are self-explanatory poster is the picture to appear before the video actually plays data setup here you actually uh, affect the speed 1 1.5 or 2 times the normal speed and uh, you can have other numbers uh, going too okay but you actually affect the basic player by including links to the video JS, uh, video dash js dot css and video dot js javascript libraries so these libraries are actually cdns basically if you open up these uh, links they lead to a css library and a javascript library okay some little bit of skinning out here very little skinning very easy to affect the skin of this uh, video player and we'll soon see how okay let's take a browser preview once again and I'm gonna give you different choices of food to fill your stomach with and remember all you filling not much and you'd be very hungry and want more to eat now if we chose say 500 calories of meat that's all the fuller your stomach would get on 500 calories of meat. You would still be yearning more to eat. Uh, are, you, are you telling me now what I'm responding to when I eat is hunger that is exhibited by the fact my stomach isn't full? That's right. The way you... See, that's the reason why you should not consume your calories via sweet liquids. Why you should not have your liquid calories. It's a rule of eating. So when you have uh, sweetened beverages, uh, sweet drinks, something like a lassi or a cold drink or a fizzy drink, or what do you call it in the West, soda or soda pops. Since it's a liquid, it empties quicker, does not affect the stretch receptors of your stomach a lot, and more or less is uh, ineffective in satiety or making you not feel full. So it's, it's very bad, you know even with protein shakes I don't understand it 
maybe uh, it has a role to play in the satiety the protein which is but again the, these are all liquid calories and the stomach empties within uh, a few minutes and you would be left uh, high and dry feeling hungry very soon so when you consume a liquid calories they they don't uh, signal the satiety of the fullness and hence you can go on uh, consuming liquid calories a lot and that actually leads to obesity so something other than HTML CSS that I thought everybody should know. Satisfy your hunger primarily is by filling up your stomach and so that's what you want to accomplish at every meal is to fill up your stomach. And how do you do that? You do that by eating volumetri uh, volumetric bulkier foods like um, starches like uh, corn, uh, boiled potatoes, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, uh, boiled rice uh, because these are caloric dilute and volumetric or bulky and will actually without uh, a lot of calories going in they occupy a lot of space a lot of volume and hence will signal the satiety or the fullness switch off your hunger and lead to weight loss make you slim slender and uh, leaner happier healthier and that's what uh, Dr. John McDougall with stomachs of flask or uh, you know glass flask trying to explain out here that when you eat cheese or butter or meat uh, you need a lot of it to make you feel full which means a lot of calories will actually be pumped in which doesn't happen when you eat stuff like boiled corn boiled potatoes uh, with condiments non fatty condiments of course uh, starches basically which actually breaks the myth that uh, starches make you fat. The average person will burn uh, 1,500 to 3,000 3, calories a day. And so if we divide the meals up into 500 calorie meals, it gives you some idea of what you might choose for, say, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Here's 500 calories of cheese. Again, you know, you're not looking at very much to fill your stomach up. Now, these are what people often think of as dieting foods as meat and cheese. But they don't do much as far as filling the stomach. Let's take a look here at 500 calories of rice and that could be white rice or brown rice of course brown rice is healthier a lot more filling you're a lot more satisfied here's 500 calories of corn now that is a lot of food and here Dan I couldn't put 500 calories of potatoes in here I could only put 400 calories in so you that's the reason why people actually lose a lot of weight on an all potato diet so many people have actually done it uh, and everybody the result is actually guaranteed when you go on an all potato diet I can talk about so many experiments ongoing and in the past where people have just eaten potatoes year round there's a guy who's doing it year round Andrew Flinders Taylor I've spoken about him in uh, many of my previous videos and you just have to lose weight because you eat just three uh, boiled or baked potatoes and you wouldn't have any space left to eat anything else and not too many calories will go in it's very volumetric it's very bulky okay so people who think that starches make you fat let me tell you rice boiled corn boiled potatoes by themselves will never make you fat in fact just the opposite will happen that's why it's called the potato cleanse in fact let me tell you I've known vegans who don't consume any dairy at all in any form who start a day with a 12 um, banana smoothie have lost a lot of weight now how many of you actually thought dates bananas rice potatoes and corn actually led to weight gain let me tell you that's a myth and I'm really uh, happy that he's the guy dr. John McDougall who's influenced me a lot and that's the reason why I actually keep you know uh, bringing examples in my HTML CSS JS documents and talk a little bit about the kind of knowledge I've learned from him and from other health gurus health Nazis uh, uh, gurus rather you gotta imagine the extra potatoes sitting up here not able to fit in the stomach so you see Dan when people switch from these types of foods that are altering so the speed in calories to these kinds of foods that are so bulky twice the calories. speed what is dieting weight loss is effortless you want to get to dessert I, I, I want to get over here quick. all right you have a choice here's 500 calories of a candy dessert not much satis satisfaction there we're here that all you have to do is switch from the high fat foods to the foods that are, are, that are plentiful in starches, vegetables, and fruits. They take in twice as much food and half as many calories. All of it, 500 calories. Twice, twice as, as much calories. food and right half now. as many Thank calories. You. Okay. In fact, let me show you how I can actually alter a lot of um, 
uh, how, how do I do with a little bit of skinning? In fact, everything we'll do in detail in the second part only. So if this 10 was to change to, let's say, a 15 out here, okay, just a little bit of skinning, guys. And do a refresh, you can actually see the play button increase in size. If I play, you see everything actually goes up in size. Everything has gone up in size. Okay, let's say, for example, if I change this color to red. Okay, and if I now do a refresh, see the seek bar has actually changed. In fact, let me revert. Alright, let me show you if I go to the HTML document and let's say I remove this class, let's cut it out. Okay, you'll see the 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 play button which was right here in the center actually shifts to the top left i'm going to talk you through uh, the skinning and the little bit of modifications that we can actually make in the next part guys uh, we will learn it in depth so please do join don't forget to join me in the next in the last part i hope you'll do that so you have a good day guys and please don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to watch more videos from me, you'll get a notification that more videos have been uploaded. Please spread the word through social media. If you think, you should spread it. Please give a thumbs up if you think it deserved a thumbs up. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.